Welcome back to more card review. So today we are going to be looking at a rank up card. We don't really look at those very often. So this is rank up magic soul shape force. It is a normal spell card that reads: Pay half your life points, then target one raid raptor exceed monster in your graveyard, special summon it, then special summon from your extra deck one monster that is two ranks higher than that monster by using it as an exceed material. The special summon is treated as an exceed summon. So, does anybody know what this does? Anybody add it up? Yeah. You can go ahead and turn that uh, that four tricks into infinity. So you ban Ptolemyos, because you can go Ptolemyos, Nova Infinity. How about we just cut out the Miniman? How about we just cut out the Ptolemyos? Cut out the Nova. Let's just, just go four tricks, rank up two, four, six, infinity. That, that, that sounds fair, right? You know, if you're going to go ahead and pay half your life points to play Hero Lives and summon that Denklaw, then why not pay half your life points to summon that Infinity? So, the only question is, is how far are people going to take this play? You know, are they actually going to just play it just in Raid Raptors? Are they going to actually try to be cute and play it in other things? You know, because it seems like it can be a little bit cloggy, you know. I'm not saying that this play is as strong as Ptolemyos. Definitely not, because... One of the things that makes Ptolemyos great over this card is the accessibility. It's in your toolbox. It's always going to be there. So as soon as you're able to go ahead and just pull off uh, Xing with three level fours, you pretty much got the infinity boost. You know, three level fours, got it. There's, a, there's Ptolemyos, you attach three, no infinity. There we go. On this on the other hand, not only do you have to have that Raid Raptor the Sea Monster in your graveyard ready to go, which of course uh, could uh, not be ready yet. So has the potential to be a dead draw, but you know, you also have to play a Raider after card that you may not have any use of, and keep in mind, it has to be in the graveyard. So, really, I'd say if you're thinking about maybe trying this out just because you can go into Infinity and playing this in other decks that aren't Raider Raptors, I don't recommend it. Maybe, maybe in like Black Wings, just because uh, you get something out of Force Tricks along with it. But if you're, if you're for example, just playing Tall Knight and you go, you know, Altai or someone the Nab, go into Force Tricks. Then let it die and then just play this, then go into infinity. I just don't see the point of it. You know, they they kind of stepped away from, uh, or at least attempting to. They realized that you know Ptolemyus is dumb and would never go into infinity dumb. But instead, it's handling the infinity. They're just like you know what, screw it. It's a cyber dragon car wreck and doing things. Ptolemyus has in hand. I mean, you know, rank four shouldn't have access to that. You want to go ahead and go into a uh, uh, infinity, then you better go into Nova properly. Then they create this, which is kind of contradictory, but hey, what you're going to do, right? So, you know, it, definitely try to avoid uh, handling the force tricks, I guess. You know, you're only you wouldn't mind just killing the force tricks and putting the graveyard, but now you got it totally because right? that's the last thing you need is to have a force tricks turn into an infinity. So, uh, you know, at least attempt to cast it back to the action deck, if it's that. Uh, the only problem is that, of course, when you're going against raid raptors, there's a good chance that they might go ahead and have that Icarus attack. I'm going to go ahead and attribute that uh, Force tricks, pop two cards, and then go ahead and next turn activate Rank Up Magic. Pay them half your life points and rank up into infinity. And it's not like there's any other stipulations. It's not like they can't protect the battle wave. It's not like they can't fight some of any other monster. Nope, just pay half your life points. And as you guys know, and the life points mostly expendable, especially when you get an obscure number like half. You know, what's half? Most people think, like, well, half, that's a big jump, man. That's 4,000 life points. Yeah, I mean, if it's at the beginning of the duel, but what if it's at the end of the duel? You know? What if it's just like in the Animu, where freaking she uses it, he only had 200 life points left, he uses it 100, there you go. Okay. And in the card art, it kind of looks like the formation of that rank 8 where they drafted any some of the freaking satellite cannon. Yeah, that's what it kind of looks like. But, you know, so fuck it. <laughs> you know, when, when he actually talked like this, and he, he, uh, came, I think he summoned his Revolution Falcon and went from rank 6 to rank 8 using this card in the anime. I, I, I seriously thought he was just going to play this, summon Strix, and then go into Infinity. <laughs> that would totally be fair in the anime, right? But yeah, it's not a bad card. It's not a bad card. It's just another way to access Infinity, and I have no problem with giving the Dragos a little bit more cards and giving them more accessibility. I mean, it sucks that they were one of the biggest culprits for going into that whole Patala Mayas play. I wouldn't say they were number one, but, you know, they did it. I've seen it a handful of times. Like, people even said that Raid Raptors are only good because they had the access to the Patala Mayas and the Infinity. Patala Mayas, bam, 
probably think it was a nice chunk of people that stepped away from Red Raptor. So, you know, this is a pretty good card to go ahead and incentivize uh, you know, burning the bat. You know, it's, you know, it's not as consistent as uh, Patel Miles, but hey, if you got it, you got it. Go ahead and turn that Strix into an Infinity because it's just one of your major plays that you can do to incentivize playing some Red Raptors. But, you know, it is not a bad card. You know, pay half to my points. You can pay early, you can pay late, but, you know, with no other restrictions and just being able to go ahead and summon the Red Raptor Sea Monster and then make it up two ranks, it's not a bad card. So, tell me what you guys think about this card in the comment section below. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed this card review. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And I will see you guys next time we do another card review. All right, people. Thanks for watching.